What is up, Pokemon Fit? The Dominic here, bringing you guys a fifth generation ND tier battle that I had against the Dark Knight 360 from Smogon. I would like to say thank you to Rich or Nerd Fury, Wild Chase, and the other Pokemon Fit directors for letting me and a bunch of other Pokemon Fit beta upload uploaders become full time directors on the Pokemon Fit main channel. So, my team, I a little backstory about this team, is really to counter some of the biggest threats of NU being you know, and Pokemon really can't handle Amoongus. Amamomola, Sock, Haunter, and just those other general Pokemon that are top, let's say, top tier NU. So, overall, this is a great battle, some hacks here and there. Now, let's get on into this battle. So, he decides to lead off with his Lunatone, which is his Looney Tunes. I like the nickname. Looney, Looney, oh, Looney Tones, Looney Tunes reference. Then lead off with my Rock and Roll, my Golem. I go for the Stealth Rocks first turn just to get some damage, and his Fairy Take is weak to his Rocks, and a couple other Pokemon. So, I decide, let's just go for the uh, Sucker Punch, since he did go for the Psychic first turn, thinking, okay, maybe he'll try and take me out this turn. But no, he decides, I'm just going to go for the Calm Mind and the Trick Room. Trick Room, I have not seen since 4th Gen. It was really cool to see, and it just really th had to change my whole thought process, my whole battle process, on how to take this team down. So he brings in his Octillery, and now I'm thinking, okay, he's most likely just going to go for the Surf or the Energy Ball. I'm just going to go for the Sucker Punch, get as much damage as I can onto this thing. Because Octillery plus one with the Trick Room up is a big threat to my team. Now to bring my specially defensive Licky Licky, and he realizes he has a Life Orb. I'm thinking maybe that he'd be a Choice Spec set, since he he is running Trick Room. So, he goes for the Surf once again, and he gets a critical hit. I am running a Max HP, Max Specialty Max special defense, licky licky, calm nature, and I calculate out the damage. A plus one special attack boosted, life or boosted, Tim and nature artillery would have done around 48% to 53%, so it could have potentially been a two hit KO. So, kind of disappointed by that, but overall, still, it was a great battle. Now, I bring in my choice scarf, Electabuzz, go for the Volt Switch, take out the artillery. Now, I bring in my Haunter, which is Life Orb, paint, uh, sub paint split set with Shadow Ball and Thunderbolt. It goes for the head smash. I'm thinking, okay, hopefully this will, this will KO. I know Haunter has some good special, good special attack, um, base special attack, and I don't know about Relican's base defense, I have not seen that in such a long time. Didn't really do any research for this battle. I, mean, I don't understand his choice of plays right here. He goes into Lunatone thinking, okay, maybe I won't have the Shadow Ball, but maybe if he was especially defensive, he would have been able to take it, the hit. But I'm a Life Orb um, Haunter, go for the Shadow Ball, take out the Lunatone, and he brings in his Bear Tick. This is the Pokemon he really should have brought in. He would have saved his Lunatone. And he would, uh, this bear tick proceeds to go for the icicle crash and take me out right here. So, <clears throat> we're waiting for all these after turn effects and leftovers recoveries. And now I bring in my choice scarf, Electabuzz, go for the Thunderbolt. So I know that he has his, uh, Dewotion and his Hypno. I gotta get as much damage as I can on this because this is my only, uh, strong attacking Pokemon left. And now, I go for the Thunderbolt, get a Revenge Crit, which still does not KO, because Evil Light to Ocean is very, very bulky. It's really good. And now, he reveals he has the Hidden Power Ground. I was like, what? Really? Hidden Power Ground? I have never, in my whole Pokemon battling career, seen any Pokemon use Hidden Power Ground. So... He goes for the hidden, or not the hidden power, he goes for the psychic. I fail to KO with the Thunderbolt, and now he, I bring in my Heat Man, my Magmar, and now I go for the Flame Charge, really, just because I didn't want to go for the Flare Blitz or the Thunderbolt. Just going to go for the Flame Charge, get the speed boost, and just, I Flame Charge is one of my favorite moves of 5th generation. Again, the speed boost and having a stab fire attack. So he brings in his hip, no, and... Goes for the size and toss. Since Trick Room is now is still up, he does outspeed me. And now <clears throat> I bring in my Golbat because that's the only really Pokemon I can just uh, stall this out. And he reveals that he has to protect. I go for the taunt. This is a new addition to my team. Well, this new the set I've been using is a new uh, new set for it. It's Brave Bird, Taunt, Toxic, and Roost. It's a standard smoke on set. It works really well. Golbat is one of my favorite Pokemon for a defensive wall in NU, or especially defensive wall. So, I speed this up to around 500%, just because he was trying to stall me out, but it's 
really impossible because he doesn't have our uh, goldback can't be toxic to, and I am taunting him so I'm eventually gonna wear him down he just didn't want to waste all too much time so I'd like to like to say thank you once again to the Pokemon Bid directors for letting me and a bunch of other YouTubers come on to this channel and be sure to check out Pokemon for Beta, my channel. I upload uh, Pokemon TCG, Pokemon Wi Fi, Pokemon Online, and other various videos to my channel. And go check out the Dark Knight 360. I don't know if he uploads, I don't know if that's his YouTube name. I just, you know, that was his uh, name on Smogon, so I'm, I'm guessing that's his YouTube. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to check out all the links in the description. Comment, like, subscribe, and peace out, Pokemon Pit.